Hi everyone, it's Sui, and I'm coming to you today to tell you that I have not read anything in October. Yes, it's been one of those months. It's been a great month. I went on a trip preparing for another trip. I've been filming and editing a ton of videos because I want to schedule them while I'm gone. No reading is really happening, but that's not the only problem. Let me tell you all the problems. I'm going to tell you why I haven't been reading all these books. When we left off in September, end of September, I was reading The Dark Forest on my Kindle and it was going okay. I read maybe just a little over 100 pages, enough to get into it. I was intrigued. I was starting to figure out who the characters were again because it's a whole nother set of characters. I mean, it's a little, it's a little brain intensive, these books. This is the second book in the Three Body Problem trilogy, right? Which is hard to do when my brain is having a hard time focusing on stuff because of all other things that are going on. So just that's the bottom line. I was doing okay, but I, I couldn't read it fast enough before it needed to go away from my Kindle and back to whoever else had it on hold at Libby, Overdrive, the library, whatever, where, however you want to think of it. Um, so I let it go back to the cloud. I re-put it on hold, both the uh, ebook and the physical book at the library. I don't know if, when I'll get a hold of them, either one of them, but anyway, when I get my hands on it, I will finish that one. So that was a sad, sad day. And then I'm like, okay, now what should I read? So I mentioned also in my September, October thing that I wanted to read maybe these two books for October reading. Whoops. These two books. <laughs> The, God, the Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil, and Drood. So I read, oh, I think maybe five pages of this one, realized it's nonfiction, and I thought it was gonna be like some creepy mystery. I don't know what I, I don't even know. I don't know what this is really. It's talking about different, like different vignettes of residents of Savannah, Georgia, I think. And, and I, I think like it gets a little bit weird. So I decided I was not in the mood for this one right now. So it is still waiting for its turn. So then I thought I would maybe give this one a go, but look how big it is. I, I don't, I can't do big books right now because they, they take me way too long. So like, like, like if I was to read this, I would, it would truly take me the whole month. And I'm concentrating on another big book, which we'll get to in a minute. And the, the dark forest, the one that I let go is like, 600 pages or something. So yeah, this one, anyway, I started it. I thought maybe it would grab me. It did not grab me. I'm sorry to say, I'm so sad. So I read, I read maybe four or five chapters into this one. I started it on this big book and then I went on my trip that I just got back from. That was to the grandkids. Here's the grandkids picture. I, I can't haul this around with me. It's too big. There's just not, I can't. So I requested it for the ebook and I thought I can, I can haul this and I will read it on my ebook. And it came and I'm like, great, I can read this while I'm on my trip. So I kept going on this, what I started it here. And then I kept going on this on the trip and I'm sitting there reading and I'm like, I have no idea what I'm reading. Like nothing was sticking. So I'm like, I can't waste my time reading something that's not sticking and that I'm not feeling because the month is half over and I should read something that is grabbing me, right? So I decided to give it up for now also. This one I forgot to ever even mention in my September thing. I, I thought I, I maybe would read this one for a band book. D.H. Lawrence, Lady Chatterley's Lover. Mm -hmm. I have this one down on my shelves. So I'm like, should, I should read it. It's easy. It looks easy. It's thin. It's, you know, I could handle it, right? So I started reading it, I'm on chapter four, and it was annoying me from the get-go. Already, I hate the characters already, yeah. And I wanted, I don't know, I wanted some scandalous love story, but it's not really a love story from what I can gather in four chapters. <laughs> All of these people are just not good. Maybe it would get better, I don't know. I, I might give this one a try still, like I'm saying with all the other ones, I just wasn't feeling it and I didn't want to waste my time right now on it. So dropped that one also. And as we know, speaking of big books, 
my project, my Oath Banger project, I'm, I recommitted. I talked about that before. I did my little spread in my, my not bullet journal and I felt really good and I was doing so great, but I knew I didn't have a problem when I left for the trip. And I actually meant to grab this one. I didn't, I just talked about how I couldn't handle that other big book. But then I was thinking, well, the, the first trip I just went on, we were driving. I could stick it in the car. I could maybe at least read a few chapters while we were on the trip, but I forgot to bring it. And I did put this one on hold for the ebook too, so that maybe it will come for my next go around when I leave. Uh, but I don't think it will happen because there's probably too many people on it. I don't know. Next one is an airplane trip. I'm not carrying this. So I'm getting very, very behind. But I did read a good chunk of this in October. So can we count that? Um, I don't know how many chapters. No, maybe 10 chapters or so in October. So this is what I've decided regarding Oathbringer. I will keep reading it, but it's not gonna happen by the end of the year. Are you surprised? I am not surprised. The story of my life right now. It depresses me not to be able to finish a goal by a deadline that I gave myself, but there's no magical thing about that deadline, except that it's the end of the year. And I am filming a little bit in here and there, so I do plan to have a vlog. Started it in March, and so I have clips to show you of the progress of this crazy book. So I'll keep doing that. I don't know how that will turn out. I have no idea what to expect. So I, I'm working on it, but this one's going to have to go on hold for a little while too, because I can't haul it around unless I can get it on this thing. So I actually thought about trying to find a paperback copy. I still think that would be hard to haul around. Oh, that's four books that I didn't read. I'm like, okay, the month's not over yet. You can still maybe read something. So read something that maybe will grab you and you know, that you could maybe, you know, I think I actually read like the first chapter of another book on my Kindle called The Reading List. I don't even know who it's by. And that seemed intriguing, but and then I felt guilty because I was supposed to be reading all these other things. And I'm like, why am I reading that? So, so I decided to save it for later till I can in good conscious, consciousness, good, good, good. Yeah. That read, read it. Okay. So then, but then I was like, okay, what book do I have that maybe will grab me? And I mentioned this one in some other video. So it was hanging out. It was in my face. So I started, a Court of Thorns and Roses. This book I've heard so much about, so I'm feeling like I need to read it. I need to know what all this hype is about. So I started it. That's how much I've got in like the last week, maybe. Uh, page 102, chapter 12. It's easy reading. I don't have to break my brain to read this one, but is it grabbing me? So far, not enough. It's okay. It's just okay so far. This, my friends, is what you call a massive major reading slump. I, I, I don't know how I'm supposed to do a booktube channel when I'm in the middle of a reading slump. I'm finding other things to talk about though. I'm doing some tags. I'm doing the Friday Fives. I'm doing a couple other things that I thought of. <laughs> Those are all to come because as I said, we are about to embark on the New, New England, England, England trip. trip couple days from now. So I, I will take this with me. I will read a few pages, but I do not do well reading on vacation. So I'm, I'm actually filming this a few days before the end of the month. And I know I won't get it done by the end of the month. So I'm seriously going to finish this month having not read one single book, people, not one single book. I've tried. You can say I've tried, right? I've read a few hundred pages and other things, but I saying, oh, so my little life update is that yes, I'm trying to film and work a lot on some videos that will go up while I'm gone. So it, maybe you won't even know I've, I'm gone. So I've been spending a lot of time on that. That's what I'm trying to say instead of reading. I, I am really, I really don't know how people do this. That's all to say that I have been working hard on things, but just not reading. And like we went and did the, the quick, the spontaneous driving trip to see the grandkids, picture grandkids, yay. And we have the new baby that's here and the three girls that's far and we got them together. And so it was kind of cool to see all the grandkids together. So 
that was worth it. It didn't matter that I am not reading. That's what life's about anyway, right? So it's all, it's all good. We're all good. Everything's good. And the epic, 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 epic England, England trip. trip. I'm gonna see a ton of interesting literary sites and things that I have been looking forward to for decades. I have been wanting to do this trip for many, many, many years. So I'm very excited about that. And I will be documenting that on the shorts. So look in the shorts section for little trip, little trip updates. Okay. Little, I will put up the literary stuff, the books, some bookstores, and I don't know, whatever else is interesting. It might not all be literary stuff. Maybe I'll do some historical things that we see. Maybe I'll show you a lighthouse or two. I don't know. I don't know what will go up there. It will be very spontaneous, very unedited, very raw, very just whatever I feel like. Just in case anyone's interested in seeing what's going on with all that. Okay, this is my October wrap up. All the books I haven't read. I have no plans for November at this point. England trip is going to take me to mid-November. And then as soon as we get back, I have a whole week full of intense stuff again so and then there's thanksgiving and then there's christmas so people i really really hope i read something in november but i don't know what this could be it's non-fiction november so maybe i'll read non-fiction but i will finish this book in november okay that's my goal and maybe i'll find it some fun little non-fiction short easy thing i'll work on my happiness book that's on here how about that i committed to the happiness book called overlap overlap i'll work on that some more while i can carry this around oh my gosh yes survive the craziness and maybe read a couple books check in then and let we'll see how it all goes down in the meantime stick with me through all this craziness i think i'm going to brand myself as the, the most chaotic reader out here on youtube i know everybody feels that way but i really feel like i'm out of control right now so thanks for sticking with me until next time happy reading Thank you.